What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about Darth Vader and Anakin, specifically how Darth Vader sees his former self and what he does to try to distance himself from the Jedi. And this was highlighted a lot in the book Thrawn Alliances, and I got to speak with the author Timothy Zahn at Dragon Con, and I wanted to ask him about it because I really liked that take on the character and how he referred to Anakin as the Jedi. So this is a clip from that interview, and then we'll be back to discuss it. Uh, well, I like the way that you separated Anakin and Vader, and I really loved the way you wrote about him as referring to the Jedi. Yes. How did that come about? That was, again, story group. They, they said that Vader does not, he kind of keeps Anakin at arm's length. He doesn't think of Anakin as what he used to be. It's kind of pushing aside just like it was an entirely different person. So once I was given that, that mandate, the idea of referring to, to Anakin as just the Jedi, uh, seemed a logical sort of thing. And, and we can have lines like, okay, that's Vader starting to remember. No, that's not my memory. That's the Jedi's memory. So it adds, it adds not only the distance, but a certain pathos of I've cut off that part that was of myself. Uh, understated, but it's still, you, you can't really lose that part of yourself, but he's really, really trying to. Mm -hmm. uh, it also adds another layer to the the entire title, Return of the Jedi. Yes, that's as a movie. That's which great. I thought was yeah. a nice extra bonus to that. Yeah. But yeah, that was a he he distances himself, so we put in that uh, separation in Vader's own mind. I wanted to bring this up because it's kind of a, a long debate in the Star Wars community. Is like how are Vader and Anakin? Are they two separate personalities in the same head? Mm -hmm. Are they two different characters? Or is it just something that Vader wants to believe? It sounds like the story group is really adamant at making it seem like Vader wants everyone to think that these were two different people. And right. it's like in his head, they were two different people. Yeah. I think that Thrawn Alliances shows us that He's not really successful in that. Yeah. He's trying. He wants Vader to be different. Mm -hmm. He wants Anakin to be dead and gone. I don't think he wants to remember any of that stuff as stuff that happened to him. Mm -hmm. So, But people keep testing him on yeah. that. Palpatine tests him on it. Uh, we recently saw in the comics, yeah. he gives him Padme's old ship uh, Thrawn keeps testing him in the book, reminding him about his journeys with Anakin, and you know Vader keeps referring to to him to Anakin as the Jedi. Right. I think those are different kinds of tests, though. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, Thrawn was doing anything nefarious. No, I think he was just trying to like make sure that you are Anakin, right? Yeah. Like, didn't we do this before? <laughs> I think he was just more curious. Palpatine, I think, is just being a jerk. Yeah, well, he's probably doing it to keep Vader constantly in this, like, headspace of struggle and yeah. sorrow and just, like, reminding him of his past just to keep him angry. Yeah, giving him Padme's old ship, like you said, is... And I guess even the mission that he sends him on in Thrawn Alliances, I mean, the, the tagline for the book is Vader has to face his past... And it's like Palpatine, I think, is, yes, trying to keep him angry and sad and keep him in that state of struggle. But also, I think he's just trying to see where his apprentice is at. And I don't know. See where if it, if and where his breaking point might be. Well, it seems like in the first Darth Vader comic series, he didn't fully buy into Anakin or <laughs> into Vader until the end of that 25 series run and he's finally like you proved yourself to me you are a sith and here take the entire imperial navy mm -hmm. i think it took 19 years <laughs> more than 19 years for palpatine to finally accept vader as his student and like official apprentice once again he's he's a planner and yeah. he you know has a lot of things in motion and i think one of those things is keeping vader uh in this headspace and reminding him of all these things and just like 
really shoving it in his face about yeah. his past and just seeing how he reacts. And he's got backup plans on backup plans on backup plans. Like yeah. we, when one of the videos that we did with Henry Gilroy, it was about how the Inquisitors were kind of sort of meant to be something Palpatine could have if Anakin didn't work out, if he never fell to the dark side, or if he were killed in battle, he'd mm-hmm. still have some dark side users. And then in the Darth Vader comic that I was just talking about, we see that he's still kind of testing new apprentices that aren't even force sensitive. They're just more like technologically enhanced. And he's like, okay, let's try this out. Mm -hmm. So he's always open to new options. And yeah, I just don't think now that we're talking about this, I think he kept on testing Vader in the Darth Vader comics that's that that are currently going on and Thrawn alliances in the book Lords of the Sith. He's Mm -hmm. just throwing things at him because he doesn't fully believe until that first Darth Vader series. It's really interesting. Yeah, it just it's another way of showing just how interesting and how complicated Darth Vader's character is. And it's why we can still put him in stories. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, <laughs> this was just one little clip from a big 20 minute interview that I got to do with Tim at Dragon Con. Uh, I've been releasing bits and pieces of it. Most of the interview is probably going to be out, but if you are interested in seeing the uncut interview, we made that available to our patrons, and you can see that right now by following the link in the description. But that's it for today. So if you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.